Hello Squids, this is Squeeva, um, back with another Unity 3D tutorial. Um, in this episode I'm going to be talking about how to make, yeah, an AI for your game. So, um, let's get started. So, yeah, when you create the new, um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just assuming you know how to create scripts by the way, in Unity. If you don't, you just right click, or you go to the interface, you right click. Okay, create. Um, I'm using a C sharp script. So this is a C well, This is a C sharp script, just to put that out there. Um, I made this script a while back, um, with the help of a tutorial from the internet, I forgot which one. Uh, it's not com copied exactly. I put this in myself. Um, so, it's kind of a mash of many tutorials, but that's how you learn. So, when you create your, um, when you create your, uh, C-sharp script, this is, it's not gonna look like this. This is gonna have using, it's gonna have these packages, the mono behavior, your, um, and your update function. And there are gonna be comments everywhere. Yeah, your start and your update. Jeez. Sorry, I'm exhausted. Okay. Bye bye. Delicious. So let's let, let's get started with explaining how this works. Um so public transform target, that's like you know you have um how can I put this? It's like the thing that you're following. So, you know, you say, look towards, you know, target.position, that's the position of the, well, the thing. Um, so, wait, if we go here, um, when we put this, it'll be this guy. The transform is this guy. Okay, this is target. This guy is target. There. That's the easiest way to explain it. <laughs> it's the object that you're following, or performing an action to. This is the speed in which you're moving and the speed in which you're turning. Um, yeah, you're looking for the, um, this is defines more of target, where you're looking for the object with the tag of player. So, okay, that's, that's cool. Um, void update. This kind of is a no-brainer, because it says rotation, so this wrote, this explains the, um, rotation of the object. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the tutorial didn't explain any of what the syntax meant. I broke it down, and I figured that one out. I'm putting that out there. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this rotates. So, transform.rotation equals corian.slurp uh, quarter, quarter neon. Quarter neon, okay. So, you know, a dot slurp is like look in that direction. Or, not look in that direction, like move, I guess. I guess you could call it a move. Not really. Yeah. So, yeah. This is the turning. Um, and this is moving forward. Okay, hold on. I can't see anything because the indentation's off. There we go. Perfect. That looks separated. Transform.rotation. So this is rotation. And this is an if statement, which is saying, you know, um, if you're not right on top of it, then you're going to move forward towards it. So if it's greater than one, yeah. So if your distance from transform dot position and target dot position, so if your distance from the target is uh, greater than one, then you're gonna move forward. Now originally, well not originally, what I'm gonna do next is I'm thinking of adding it in. So it says if raycast, if you hit the raycast, no, if it's not hitting, if you don't hit the raycast. 
then you move forward. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna have if we'll work it out in the next episode. But here, this is important. So if it gets within a seven unit radius of you, the application will restart. Now you can you don't you don't have to have application dot low level the new application. You can have say say what you want to have is you want to have a cutscene when it gets you right. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a cutscene for when it gets you or kind of the basis of a cutscene. We're just gonna load in a new level. You'll see. You'll see. So let's um let's just work with this script I've I have pre made. Oh jeez. Yeah. But first, before I go on, pause the video here and copy all that code down. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and you've copied the code down, so I'm gonna continue. Um So thinking. Let's add in a game object, create other cube. There we go. Nice little cube there. So then we're gonna drag the enemy AI into there. So you can see you have target. We're going to drag this here. That's pretty fast. That'll catch up to me before I know. It's pretty acceptable speed. So let's hope this one works. Da. Flag. Yep, works just fine. I got caught. Yep, see? It works just fine. And then if we turn this way, you see it turns to you. So, yeah, when you see when you get in within seven clicks, well, I want to call it clicks just because I watch too much sci-fi. <laughs> watch too much Battlestar Galactica. Oh yeah, if you know Battlestar Galactica, I'm gonna look like Gaius Baltar when I'm forty. Or however old Gaius is. I think he's 40. I think Gaius Baltar is 40. Hopefully I'll be like Gaius Baltar. But not a silent. Um, okay. I thought my internet shut down. But it didn't. Okay, I have... Oh, two more minutes. Okay, I have to hurry up. I took too long to explain this. So. Um... Let's quickly just create an, like, kind of an overworld. Save this. Oh, oh. Save. Save. File. Oh, please work. Okay, new scene. There we go. Terrain. Create a terrain. Let's go to character controllers. FPS controller. For those who are saying that you don't know how to, um, find the character controller, because I've been getting a lot of that, um, either rewatch the video, or when you create the project, check, you'll get like a checkbox when you create the project, check off all the checkboxes. And if you haven't checked off any of the checkboxes when you create it, you can go to import package character controller. That's what you do. So, um, now that you've done that, this is like, your second level. Um, I'm not going to have any time to really finish much up. So I'm going to save the level. Hopefully. Ah. No. Uh, dead. Save. So I don't have much time, so I'm just going to save that level. Um, we're going to go assets. Uh, I'm just going to work real fast now. So assets. File. Build settings. You're going to move project in as level zero and dead in as level one. 